So the purpose of today, how do we graph an equation of a line without using a table? We're going to use that slope-intercept shortcut. This means slope-intercept. But I also want to be able to see this as change in y over change in x times x plus b. Because I want us to realize that slope, we're used to rise over run. But whenever you get out of this class and you go into either a science class like chemistry, we're going to have to see fractions and be a little bit more comfortable with them. So I'm going to try to get away from M and more into change in Y divided by change in X. Because I'm always going to have to use a rate or use a fraction to figure out this. We're also going to use descriptive words for this changing. I'm either gonna say up or down, however many, compared to how much I'm moving right or left. However many. But I need to start my graph at the y-intercept because if I plug in a zero into any x coordinate, it's just gonna spit out this number. That's where I'm going to start because it's the easiest point to find without a lot of thinking skills. All right, so let's start graphing if you haven't started already. Here we go. Uh, we are going to start at negative 1. So start at 0, negative 1. Let's immediately plot that point. We need to look at the slope as a fraction, but I need descriptive words. So I've got to figure out, well, what descriptive words will be used. So we're going to move up to right one, because those are both positive directions. So from that starting point, I'm going to move up to right one, put a point. Up to right one, put a point. So up to right one or down to left one. Create your line, and to get us ready for geometry, let's realize that a line continues on and on forever, even outside of our graph. So in this next one, we're going to start at 0, negative 2. And we are going to move in the direction. Hey, wait a second. It's already put into a, a rate or a fraction. So... We're gonna go up two, right three. I'm gonna start at zero, negative two, plot a point, and then I'm gonna move up two, right three, plot a point, and continue. So this next one, we still start at zero, three. But then let's talk about how we're gonna interpret that rate. So when you have a negative slope, you need to assign the negative to one of those numbers. Because in order to have a negative quotient, because you've got to realize, wait, a fraction we can use a division sign for. So a fraction we can use a division sign for. And in order to have a negative quotient, we need a negative divided by a positive or a positive divided by a negative. So you have to assign the negative to one of those numbers. Let's say you assign it to the one. Let's talk about the direction words. So in this situation, we're going down one, right two. So starting at zero, three and moving down one, right two or up one, left two. So with example four, um, something's weird. So when we have no y-intercept and if we don't see the slope, it's like a negative one as a slope plus zero. And then we're going to have to figure out direction words for negative one. So direction words will be down one, right one. Let's start at zero, zero and move down one, right one. Or to get into the second quadrant, we could go up one, left one. Let's just put down that quote again. Because when you see 
y equals 5 or x equals 2. I want to hear this statement every single time. This is what I want to hear. Whenever you see y equals 5, x equals 2, x equals negative 1, I want to hear the statement, all of the blank coordinates are blank every single time. So if all the y coordinates are 5, start picking points in your brain that would have the y coordinate be 5. So like negative 3, 5, negative 1, 5, 4, 5. All of these points would have the y coordinate be 5. If we can make sense of that statement, we don't need to memorize that it's going to turn out to be a horizontal line. 